Hey everyone, it's Raven Jade here, and tonight I find myself on the planet Cyrene. I am hardly ever here. So I had a VIP warp here earlier, and I figured I would take advantage and come down to the planet and start hunting. And I thought I would try my hand at rhino beetles tonight. They are a level 48 for the youngs, and they are an impact cut and stab mob so hopefully my now don't make fun of me I know I know I, I feel so ashamed I have a mixed armor set right now and it, it, it bugs me it does but I don't have a full set of shadow and I don't have a full set of angels so I got a shangel set <laughs> so I'm gonna take my shangel set and I'm going to start hunting I'm gonna use my um, Enigma L4 ELM edition and I think I already stuck my evil amp on it let's see here where is my gun I have so many I know I should stick most of these in storage but I'm I'm messy <laughs> You should see my bedroom. No, no, I'm just kidding. Um, yes, I have the evil amp on already, so we are good to go. Let's have some fun. Hopefully, let's have some fun. I'm only doing a small hunt tonight. It's about 300 pet or so. So I just want to test out these rhino beetles. And as, let's see here with the... Um, the mission. Oh, I guess I shouldn't get too close because I think these aggro, so I might just do that. There we go. Um, with the mission, oh, I'm talking too much. I can't. I can't shoot and talk at the same time. Obviously. Um, with the mission, where are the rhino beetles? Rhino rampage. Yeah. I'm on five of 2,500. I won't be cashing in any missions tonight, so this is how seldom I am here on Cyrene. But I always hear good things about rhino beetles. People are always saying how they like hunting them, so I wanted to try. I do like their animations, and as it gets darker here, because I think we're going into night cycle, their animations will really pop. However, one of the things that I don't like about Cyrene is that when it gets dark here, it really gets dark here. So hopefully I finish my hunt before it gets too dark or you won't be able to see anything. And That's not fun. Or is it? Is it fun being in the dark with me? Anyway, anyway, <laughs> that's a conversation at a later date. <laughs> at a later date. Right now we're hunting. So yeah, here we go. Oh, you know what? I forgot to take my loot pill. So I am going. Yeah, I was I was doing a Easter mayhem earlier and I haven't put I haven't cashed them in yet. So they're there too. Those are what these little doodads are. And my auto loot pill. And we are good to go. Oh, what's this? See, I don't even know what the loot is here. Like, ooh, 20 peck. I get so excited. And it's like, uh, well, it has okay markup. So, hmm. All right, let's go on. This guy over here looks like he's got loot for me. Cyrene is still uh, in its soft launch stage, I believe. I mean, it's been soft launching for years now. I mean... It's it's building up for a big, big, big <laughs> explosion, maybe. Um, but yeah, they've been slowly but surely building up their community, and they have quite a loyal community here, from what I can notice in the chats and stuff. It usually is the same people um, talking and, and doing the siren missions and hunting the mobs here. So I, I do like that sense of community. That some of these planets have and I'm glad that Cyrene has one of those as well all right so 
They do hit a little hard, but nothing that I can't handle in my Shangel. <laughs> Shangel. Yeah, don't make fun of me. Eventually I'll have a full set of Shadow. I will. <laughs> but until then, this is this is what we're this is what we're working with. This is what we're working with, and I'm not ashamed. I'm not, even though I keep talking about it. I'm not ashamed. Whatever works. So he does he does seem to be a pretty decent mob with the HP on him. I call him a him. Maybe he's a her. I don't know. But with a HP like this one has, it, they should be a good globaling, hoffing uh, mob. So maybe I'll get lucky and I can hoff for you guys tonight. Would you like that? Would you like that? I would. I don't, I don't really care if you would like it. I would like it. I would love to hoff in front of you. <laughs> I am just full of innuendos tonight. I don't know what it is with me tonight. I guess because I'm filming this on a Friday and I'm just feeling a little a little randy. And they are really friendly here on Cyrene. I mean, when I got here, I didn't even know where the rhino beetles were. And I just, you know, posted in Cyrene chat. I was like, hey, can anybody tell me where the rhino beetles are, please? And a couple of people, like, immediately, you know, gave me directions and waypoints. I like that. They didn't say, go look it up, noob. <laughs> Which they very well could have, and I would have been like, you're right. I should have looked it up. But no, they're really cool like that, so I enjoy that. So hopefully, Cyrene will treat me so well that I want to keep coming back for more. If you guys hunt on Cyrene and you're watching this video, what, uh, what mobs would you recommend me checking out next time I'm here? I'd love to know what, what uh, mobs you guys like. And I know, I know, somebody's going to say my gun is so slow. I never really noticed how slow my guns were until I started, you know, filming my videos. And I almost feel a little self-conscious, you know, like, they're judging me. They're judging me. Like, I'm, I'm going too slow for them. But, um, I don't know. I, I guess I could get a bigger, badder gun if I really wanted to. I just like these ELM edition guns because they're one pet TT and they're pretty eco to buy. Uh, the markup on them are, are usually pretty pretty good. Like I'll show you the markup on this gun that I'm using in just a sec as soon as this rhino beetle gets to me. Oh crap, what was I thinking? Ah, I just hit two of them. Well, we're gonna have some fun. So anyway, while they're not hitting me too hard, I will show you the markup on the ELO. Oh, I spoke too soon. Just a sec. Alright. So the markup on the ELM is, you know, for, okay, that's, that's tier one. 3600, or yeah, 3600 percent. So that's like 36 pet. 36 pet for a gun that I can do several hunts in. Yeah, I like that. Actually, I shouldn't even be telling you this because then you're all going to go out and buy these guns. Markup's going to skyrocket and I'm going to have to find a new favorite gun. Oh god, almost got, almost got dead. It was a big crit. This guy seems really angry. <laughs> What else can I tell you about Cyrene, considering I hardly ever come here? I can't really sound like an expert if I haven't hardly come here. Um, <laughs> that sounded a little awkward. Um, I do like their scenery. Oh my goodness, crits tonight! They do have, like, like I said, they do have pretty decent scenery. Um, I love the mobs. I really do. Each mob has these really cool animations, and they make it fun to hunt. And 
And I also like about Cyrene, I like that they haven't gone the way of Calypso, knock on wood, or yet, where all the loot is... <laughs> all the... <laughs> Sorry, somebody said something funny in my background. Um, Um, knock on wood, I do like that they have actual loot in my window besides shrapnel or ammo. I get excited by seeing actual loot. Are you watching, Calypso? Are you taking notes? I want more. I need more. I deserve more. <laughs> more loot, that is. Sometimes when the loot isn't so great, I like to just kind of move areas a bit. Sometimes that helps, sometimes it doesn't, but since I don't really know Cyrene all that well, I think I'll just move around a bit. Oh, I think something's after me. Is something after me? I think I see something chasing me on the radar. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. about this guy over here? Yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend coming out and hunting these if you don't have good armor or good evade because they do hit hard. Not gonna lie. See, I think doing mobs like this, it's like, you know, when you have to work up towards it, it's... It, it makes you feel accomplished when you can take bigger mobs. So if you're watching this video and you've just started Entropia, you know, you got, you've got mobs to look forward to, <laughs> to being able to take. That's how I always thought about it anyways when I was newer in the game. I used to be like, oh, I can't wait until I can hunt such and such. And, you know, there's still mobs in this game that I can't really do very well, so I guess I still have those I can't wait for moments, so, yeah. It's all about having fun and maybe trying to get a few Hoffs or Globals. Maybe get an ATH. I've yet to get, like, an, an ATH on the board, so that would be cool. I think I'd pee my pants for that one. <laughs> Definitely pee my panties if I got an ATH. For sure. <laughs> I just I just wouldn't tell anyone. So don't you tell anyone. <laughs> but I don't see a lot of like, you know, high markup stuff except for like those bones. Those bones looked worthwhile in keeping. Here. Perfect hide. Ooh, four seven. No markup though. And this is Rhino Beetle hide. One ped. Guess it should start shooting. And that has no markup either. Still kind of cool, I guess. Perfect hide. Never heard of something like that. I almost do feel kind of noobish being out here because I don't know their loots and I'm really not that familiar with their mobs so it's it's fun it's like it's like being new all over again and you get to explore with me yay you <laughs> partial eye remains ooh that's kind of gross <laughs> I guess if I'm Obliterating them, I guess there would be partial eye remains. Nasty. <laughs> I've been really enjoying do the doing these videos for you guys. There's just one thing, it's like when I hunt, I kinda get lost in the zone of hunting. It's just like it's almost like hypnotic to me, just be hunting, 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 and I forget to talk. So it, it's been interesting 
trying to do these videos and remembering, hey, no, well, maybe somebody, maybe some do, maybe, maybe somebody doesn't want to listen to me yak the whole time, but I'm like thinking, thinking to myself, they're not gonna, they're not gonna find this video very interesting if you're not talking, Raven, so talk. <laughs> So yeah, that, I guess that's a question. Do you guys like watching videos where the hunter isn't really talking? You just kind of follow along and watch them go pew, pew, pew. Or do you like the little silly banter to go along with shooting the mobs? Let me know. I'd be interested in hearing what your thoughts are. Getting close to being out of ammo. I have about 290 shots left and no globals to speak of. How sad. How sad is that? It makes me sad anyway. I, I am addicted to the swirly. I do like to see the little swirlies go. Choo -choo -choo. But don't we all? The one thing that I don't like, and I know that some people are going to disagree with me, especially if they are newer to the game in the last couple of years, but I so detest that some mobs, you know, have a lower than 50 ped global threshold. Um... I, I don't know. See, I'm I'm a dinosaur, I guess, in this game where, you know, when I started playing, it was 50 pet for the global. And when you hear that music, when you hear those trumpets, you're like, all right, I got something, I got something. And then you look down, and because you were hunting a little a little lobby mob, it's like 15 pet, and you're like, what, what was that? That's not a global, yet. Um, you know, I'll hear from new players in the game and they'll be all excited and they'll be like, Raven, I got three globals today. And I'll be like, oh yeah, what, what, what you get? What you get? And they're like, oh, I got a five petter, got a 10 petter. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> grats. <laughs> I'm like, no, at least, okay, I get what Mind Arc is doing. I do. I, I get, they want to, you know, have players be excited. I do. But how could they be like, I call them noobles, actually. I, I don't call them globals, I call them noobles. Sorry, that's not trying to be insulting to noobs because hey, I'm still a noob too. We're all noobs, I'm forever noob, but I don't know, I think that if they're gonna make some mobs be globaling before the 50 ped mark, maybe it should be a different sound. Um, maybe it should come up as something other than that, like, it can be, I guess, a global, but could it be called something else, maybe? I don't know. These are my thoughts. And maybe, you know, maybe you don't agree with me. And that's okay. It's okay for you not to agree with me, because, I mean, it would be kind of boring if we always agreed with each other. But these are just my thoughts on the matter. I'd love to know what you guys think. And... And for the mat for that matter, I would just love to hear those sounds tonight. It's kinda it's kinda like hmm that I'm not hearing those trumpets. I'm putting in the work. I'm trying. I'm out here in my shangel <laughs> and I'm I'm trying to get globals, but so far these rhino beetles are being mean to me. So mean. And I don't even think Pulling a whiny girl card is going to work on them. <laughs> and I'm thinking I probably am not going to break even on this hunt. That's, that's how I'm feeling about the loot. So I could be wrong because, like I said, I'm not familiar with a lot of these Sirene loots. So maybe I'm adding it up wrong in my head. But I'm not so sure that I'm going to do well when I go to the TT machine and see what I got. Yay! 
Yay! I got a global finally. What did I get? I got ooh, 136 pet. That makes things better. And I got some beetle foot guards. Oz Ozipin? Ozpin? They're male though. And I got. Um, is there any markup on them? Mm -hmm. Some sold in the last month, so maybe. And then I got female beetle hand gloves. Ooh, full TT on those. And they have, well, some has sold in the last year. Let's check the stats on them. Not bad. They have 10% penetration, or 10 points of impact, um, 10 points of burn, 10 points of cold. And they have 25 points of cut, 25 points of stab, 20, oh, sorry, 15 ped, ped, 15 points of acid. I think they protect you against almost everything except for shrapnel. Interesting, interesting set of armor. Okay. I just put all my loot into the TT machine and I got 342 back on a 300 ped uh, hunt. These bones have some markup on them and I'm not sure about much else but you know if you keep all your stacks eventually like this, this one has 108% markup eventually you can make some money back you know the animal muscle oil 104 percent so it all depends on if you have um, the pet space on your card to be able to hold things over and build them up so that you can get a decent size stack to sell on the auction later or you know maybe find a trader if that's your thing so uh, let's see what else here. I should check and see how much it cost for my armor. Okay, so yeah. I am. Um, take these ones out. Because I wasn't using them. Okay, so yeah, with having to repair my armor, I'm down a little, but it's not that bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Showing you off my ch armor chest, I guess. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until the next video, I hope you guys stay vampy and half big. Bye for now.